What is it? Wow. Are, are you going to tell me? I mean, what is it? Well, we blew the Quantico DNA reference library right into the Smithsonian database. This is about an obscure DNA reference as it gets. My words, okay. Well, the only reference we have is from uh, Siberia from 87, an archaeological dig. They found frozen Precambrian insects and diatoms in perfect condition. It's a residue from a really, really old worm. So you're telling me the dead worker was covered with prehistoric bug poop? Cute, darling. <laughs> the helix match is either a pre-millipede they never got around to classifying as an official species, or... <sighs> yep, an acidaspis trilobite. Say again. Trilobite. It's been extinct for about 10 million years. Uh, it's like a, a cross between a worm and a mosquito, a parasite. You don't think that there's... There's no other explanation, Curtis. <laughs> Boy, are you easy to screw with. First of all, there's no way it would survive the ice and the cold. That's if it wasn't already extinct and if it were capable of movement in the Antarctic. Second, the only remains ever found, and these were in adults, were fairly small. You know, like insect size. So for a trilobite to have done damage like that, it would have had to have been the size of a dog. But how do you explain the DNA match then? Huh? It has to be something like, like a pre-millipede or, or a trilobite or something with a similar DNA root. Okay, the worker gets messed up, drowns, freezes to death, and the blood attracts these little things that share characteristics with the trilobite. They leave behind the blue stuff. So you think that we accidentally stumbled upon some kind of new life form then? No, an old one. Like a shark. Something like that hasn't evolved yet. But yeah, it's a discovery. 